two things that motivate me are the beauty of our environment, the uniqueness of our planet, of course, but also the people I've met and the fact that people do want to play a stewardship role. Welcome to Terra Science, the podcast where reality matters. I thought microtubules might be processing information at this basic level. Here we are another 30 years later. You can actually say it. I'm going to be a scientist. <laughs> uh, excellent. You will be. What was fascinating is what emerged from that was also a transformation in their consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> if I try to do that, we're going to go down that rabbit hole. Because I wrote it for people like you to get a sense yeah. of field biology, for women to appreciate the challenges. In that process of detection, that molecule momentarily is bound to us. You know, it becomes part of us. So it's this incredibly intimate encounter that we have with the things of the world around us. We are consistently asking what's wrong with the student rather than what's wrong with the educational system today. Maybe somebody will be inspired to also go into this field someday, too. That would be amazing. Well, I hope so. Welcome to the Terra Science Podcast. The podcast where reality matters. My name is Rajneesh. I'm a plant scientist at Carnegie Institution at Stanford University and an entrepreneur attempting to upgrade our food systems and our planetary footprint for the benefit of Earth and humanity. And my name is Bridget. I'm a current graduate student and former vertical farmer, and I'm very passionate about public education and increasing access to healthy and nutritious foods. You can find us on Apple Podcasts and on YouTube under Terra Science, or follow the links in the description below to learn more. We'll see you in the next one.